He made lemonade out of that wiring. This one? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. These little uh, tags on each one. Well, <laughs> could you imagine trying to debug something like that? I mean, you can't get to anything. This was the easy one. Amazing. See these columns? They just they just pull the cards out. No, no, that's not correct. That's that's just really power, I think. Yeah. Ground, probably ground there and, and hot in there. Oh, you're right. I can't yeah. see without at least three pair of glasses. It's cool. You should have seen the cooling we had to work out for the gallery in Marshall and Cray Three. That was a system and a half. It took a while for Galley Moss and I to, you know, to, to learn how to deal with that part. Do you want to move uh, that Imagine soldering this. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't, didn't. Yeah, I would if I was asked. What is it about gallium arsenide that made it superior? Well, gallium arsenide in the Cray 3, oh. uh, but uh, there, there were 500 gates per IC. In the Cray 4, there were 5,000 gates per IC. System Master. clock speed, 500 in the Cray 3, 1,000 in the Cray 4. All these advancements in design, coupled with the experience gained from the Cray 3, hold the potential to make the Cray 4 supercomputer systems very competitive products when introduced into the supercomputer marketplace. Oh, okay. Now, when was that written? 1993. 1993 annual report. So yeah. yesterday. Shortly before the. Uh, shortly before the. Started using gallium arsenide in 93. What do they call it? Yeah, probably. I would imagine. Why? Indignant or disappointed investment.